Alright, hey, what's up guys, Dingle here, and in today's video I'm going to be bringing you a, uh, a complete guide to Twixter, pretty much. And uh, I've been getting a lot of requests for this, uh, especially since the release of my newest videos where I've been really u utilizing this plugin. Uh, so yeah, I just thought I'd give you a tutorial here today. So uh, obviously you're going to need the plugin installed, you can probably find some good cracks. If not, I have a video called Top 5 Plugins uh, with a download link to Twixter in the description. And uh, yeah, so you're just gonna want to go into your video effects tab right here. And you're gonna want to search for Twixter. I've already done that. And you're gonna want to drag in Twixter Pro, or you're, you're just gonna want to select it for now. You're gonna want to go to the the very place where you get the kill, and you're gonna want to back off roughly 30 frames. I'd say is a good marker. So that'd be uh, 27. I'm um, fucking math. 57. Yes. Okay. Big math. And you're gonna apply Twixter Pro to this. And the reason why you're doing this is, you know, uh, if you split any track that has Twixter on it, shit just gets fucked up. So make sure you just take care of it. And yeah, pretty much that. And once you're in here, you're going to want to set your time remap to, uh, to speed. Make sure that's set on speed. Track quality best, image prep, contrast, uh, frame, frame interpretation, blend, and warping forward. And uh, don't... You could select Smart Blend if you want, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it, but it really doesn't matter, it's up to preference pretty much. So yeah, uh, once you have that right here, uh, you're gonna wanna set, uh, you're just gonna wanna keyframe the speed percentage right here, and set it to say like 60 or something, set it to like a pretty low number, generally. And you're gonna wanna just go, mm, you're gonna go like 5, 10 frames forward, I go 10 frames forward, I'll set that to 30. And now I will go to the uh, the very marker that I set earlier, where I'm supposed to be getting the kill, and I'm gonna want to drag this up until I actually get the kill, which would be right here. I'm pretty sure I have a uh, fucking resample on, but I don't know why. And after you've done that, you're just gonna go one, two, three frames forward and set it to whatever slow mo you want. So after you've done that, your clip should look something like this. Uh, I'm gonna show you right now. And yeah, that, that's pretty much the basics. Uh, the, the actual trick to using Twixter is making this marker right where you want the kill to be. And then just going into it here, you, you, you need to enable this. You need to label sync cursor to media timeline. And when you do that, when you click on the marker, it's going to show up here. And once you click on the marker, you need to make sure that you can drag the speed percentage up here until you actually get the impact. Uh, that's what a lot of you guys are missing. You're either making... Like you might, you're either making it way too quick or way too slow, and it's just not syncing up. Well, that that this is just a really easy way to sync it up. Uh, so yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and you know subscribe with noties on, of course. And uh, another tutorial will will be out in, uh, in a couple days, I think. And uh, you guys should really look forward to that. It'll be a banger. And uh, I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys then. And peace.